Absolutely delighted now to be joined by Sajel Shaw and uh, Dave Gitlin. So let's kick off. So tell us a little bit about the work of the Council for Psychosomatic Medicine. Yes, well, the Council on Psychosomatic Medicine is really the council that represents that uh, subspecialty area of psychiatry that focuses on the interface of medicine and psychiatry. Patients with comorbid medical conditions as well as psychiatric conditions, often known in the field as consultation liaison psychiatry. The council tends to do the work that focuses on the clinical practice of right. those uh, psychiatrists and helps spread the information of their expertise to the rest of the membership of the APA. So, Sejo, you're on the council, aren't you? So, so tell us a little bit about your work. Sure. Uh, so, I was appointed as the early career physician uh, on, on the council representing the uh, perspective of early practice psychiatrists. And some of my work uh, highlight two aspects of, of what I'm working on right now. One involves fellowship recruitment. Uh, we're hoping to increase the number of psychiatry residents that go into our field, um, given the exciting opportunities sure. that are available right now. And so it, even at this meeting, uh, we'll be meeting with a number of the other councils to try to increase uh, fellowship training um, amongst psychiatry residents. The second project that I'm working on is part of a subgroup on emergency department boarding. Uh, it's well known uh, amongst uh, psychiatrists across the country and emergency medicine physicians that the time that it takes for mentally ill individuals to get access to care, uh, it, the delays are just uh, staggering um, amongst patients that are looking for mental health treatment or substance use disorder treatment. And so we put together a position paper as part of the council uh, to highlight some local and, and national efforts that may lead to some solutions. This is quite an issue at the moment in the United States, isn't Ab it? Absolutely. It's truly a public health crisis. So you're obviously at the conference, you're obviously wanting to get more people involved. How are you going about that? Yeah, so one of our, one of our efforts um, has been to gear some of our uh, education efforts of our field to medical students. Uh, the choice of medical specialty and even subspecialty now is happening earlier and earlier in the medical education trajectory. And so we're hoping uh, to um, target some of our education efforts towards medical students and through the council, uh, through the leadership of, of a couple of our members, we've developed a short Prezi video um, to educate medical students about what exactly our field does that it's at the interface of medicine and psychiatry and so we feel that there's a lot of untapped um, medical student interest that we can recruit. For general members uh, the Council on Psychosomatic Medicine is one of the leading councils focused on the collaborative care efforts, cutting-edge efforts to integrate uh, psychiatry into the larger medical practice and so we have the opportunity to engage many of the members of the APA around these issues of integrated care and collaborative care as well. Well, thank you both very much indeed for uh, joining us and best of luck uh, with uh, your efforts. Thank, thank you very you, much. Thank you so much, Steve.